touching down at the presidential airbase and past the presidential planes that will soon be his again. It was back to the future for the comeback president. Surely for him, this moment is a neat two fingers for the many who said he never would, he never could. But he did, now with a victory that has secured him the House, the Senate, and the place he will soon move back to. In anticipation of this moment of transition, this moment in history, the cameras of the world were here. Well, Mr. President, and for all that anticipation, what would it be like? Donald, congratulations. And uh, looking forward to having, a, like we said, a smooth transition. Do everything we can to make sure you're accommodated, what you need. Well, in the end, it was, of course, cordial. Welcome. Welcome thank you back. very much. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, politics is tough. And it's, uh, in many cases, not a very nice world. But it is a nice world today. And I appreciate very much and a transition that's so smooth. It'll be as smooth as it can get. And uh, I very much appreciate that, Jim. President Biden surely wanting to give Donald Trump what he never offered four years ago, a concession of defeat and a transition. And so two men who have such starkly different visions, two men who have exchanged such brutal words for each other over many years, a danger to democracy, Biden said of Trump so many times. Well, now it is the process of democracy that demanded this moment, a handshake and civility. It was the outgoing press secretary left to describe the details of the two-hour meeting. It was indeed very cordial, very gracious uh, and substantive. Uh, and I mentioned at the top, national security uh, was discussed, domestic policy, policy issues were discussed. The 47th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Before the White House, President-elect Trump's first stop was Capitol Hill to congratulate Republican politicians who now hold the majority in both houses of Congress. Well, thank you very much. This is a very nice gathering. Isn't it nice to win? It's nice to win. And behind all this, so his cabinet nice. nominations keep coming. I'm Pete Hegseth. This is the man he wants to be his defense secretary. Fox well, News host, in. former National I'll Guard major like Pete long. Hegseth. His name raised eyebrows, of course, but then that is precisely Trump's intention. And his views on the military, on China, a hint of the direction of travel may be. We're always a decade behind in fighting the last war. Whereas China, China's building an army specifically dedicated to defeating the United States of America. Images then for the ages, released by the White House. It is almost as if the last few years never happened. A reset or a pause for posterity before the new world begins. Mark Stone, Sky News at the White House.